Alright, we've got this uh, laptop here, Sony Vio, and um, yeah, I was actually given it from a family member. They upgraded to a uh, MacBook Pro, and um, this one had a dead hard drive in it, so I've scored it. Yeah, you can probably see it's shiny and bright pink, so not my choice of colour, but uh, didn't cost me anything. And um, what I'm actually going to do is put an SSD in it and upgrade the RAM and I'm going to use it as a small Minecraft server so uh, you can see it's extremely shiny though so <laughs> you've got to constantly polish him up. Um, we'll open it up. What this video was going to be was um, just the boot time so it's currently got a 60 gig mechanical in it that I pulled from an older laptop and um, I just wanted to test everything to make sure everything worked before I actually spent some money on it and uh, it seems to work quite well so we'll boot it up and we'll just see how long it takes to actually boot into Windows it's got Windows 7 uh, Ultimate 64-bit running on it at the moment so currently the, the specs on it it's got a quad-core i3 processor 2.4 gigahertz it's got 4 gig of RAM in it and um, it's currently got a 60 gig hard drive in it but I've ordered a Corsair 60 gig uh, force SSD and I've also ordered 8 gig of RAM and I'm going to put that in it and uh, see how it runs so, but this video was just to um, as a bit of a reference so that I can see how much faster uh, it'll actually boot after the SSD's in if it'll boot faster when the SSD's in so um, let's just see how it goes I'll also load up the uh, the Windows performance index numbers, which I mean, they don't really mean a lot, but it gives you a rough idea of uh, the performance increase when you actually do make hardware changes to your PC. So you can see it does take a while to load up, but it's not ages and ages, of course. So there's your Windows sound, but. As anyone knows, with a mechanical drive, uh, it takes a while for Windows to actually line up all the files and get going at the start. Let's see if we can uh, bring the start menu up. Here we go. Computer properties. And the performance index, so the total rating is 4.5. So we've got the processor 6.6, .6, the memory 5.9, uh, the desktop graphics performance 5.1, gaming graphics 6.0 and the primary hard disk is 4.5. So I don't know if my camera will pick that up. See if we can zoom in and focus a bit better. So I don't know if you'd be able to see that. Filming it on the Canon 60D so it's definitely good enough to film that but um, so yeah I'll I'll cut the video there and the next video uh, the next part of the video will be the uh, same thing the boot with the SSD and the new RAM and I'll also load the performance uh, index calculator there and see how we go all right okay back with part two we've put the SSD in and the 8 gig of RAM into the via and um, had a few troubles with the SSD. Uh, initially it wouldn't recognize that there was a hard drive in the system uh, and after it was all installed and all updated uh, if the laptop went into sleep or suspend it wouldn't wake the hard drive back up so I've had to disable uh, the sleep mode on the laptop but uh, at the moment it's working and it is really fast so I'll, I'll boot it up. and it, it's incredible how much faster uh, everything happens now this is the first time i've mucked around with an ssd i don't even have one in my my big systems so not yet but this has convinced me to probably get a couple um, i'll try and do an overlay of the other video to show you how much quicker that actually boots uh, it's ridiculous how much faster it is uh, let's uh, if i load this up just quickly load up the last video and it should have the, there we go, I've got the performance of the last video there so now we can go straight into this 
So the last specs we had, uh, the processor was at 6.6, .6, the RAM was at 5.9, graphics for desktop was 5.1, 3D graphics was 6.0, and the old mechanical 60 gig was 4.5. So now, if we can get in here maybe, you can see that the processor uh, has actually gone up a notch. It's gone from 6.6 .6 to 6.7. Uh, the RAM, so putting in the same speed RAM, but just more of it, um, it's gone from 5.9 to 6.7. The 2D graphics has dropped one point, or point 0.1 point. It was 5.1, now it's 5.0. Uh, but the 3D graphics has gone up 0.2, so it's gone from 6.0 to 6.2. Now the big one, the primary hard disk, the mechanical one scored 4.5. Now the primary hard disk is 7.6, which is only a couple of notches away from the max score in the uh, Windows Performance Index, which is 7.9. So it's insane how much faster it is. Everything just, you, you load something and it just loads. There's no thinking, there's no like wondering about it. It's, it's incredible. Uh, let's see if we can zoom out a little so I mean you just you click on like your your browser it's instant load uh, we go to I've got Minecraft on here I mean Minecraft loads fairly quickly single player we'll just quickly load up a world we just generated I mean it's it's just there it's loaded it's done um, it doesn't really in Minecraft especially it doesn't affect the the generated terrain so generated terrain still takes time but when terrain has been generated and you go into that section again like to load pre-generated chunks it loads instantly like it it's so fast it's um, it's really good so but yeah, that was just a um, mainly for my reference, just to show me how much faster it would be with the SSD, and yeah, definitely a worthwhile update. So anyway, I thought I'd chuck it on YouTube to to show you guys the difference. All right, I'll see you later.